Hey everybody, Jokefit here. Just doing a quick video this time. I've gotten uh, several requests to do an install video on how to install Republic at War, so I just thought I'd run through it real quick. And uh, I'll be doing this. This app will be for my computer, which is a 32-bit Windows 7 operating system, and I have Steam on my computer. So, that's the install path I'll be using. Now, uh, when you first get Republic at War, when you install it off my, or download it off my DB, you'll get this, uh, file. You'll get the, uh, RAR file, WinRAR file. And, uh, it's, you can see it's pretty big, 1.33 gigabytes. So, when you open that up, Inside you have it's a pretty big file. You've got several different programs in there, as you'll see in just a sec. Uh the installation does not take very long. You see you have the mods folder, Republic at War installation, and that's the actual Republic at War application itself. So this is the installation guide and has a RAM fix which we'll get to in a minute. The installation guide itself and troubleshooting guide. You open the installation document. It's a Word document and it'll have you installation instructions for Repub or for Forces of Corruption itself and for Republic at War. So by now, you should already have Forces of Corruption installed if you're watching a video on how to install Republic at War. So, this tells you everything you need to know right here if you want to pause the video real quick. So, yep. I'm going to go uh, through it. You know, it's down here. This is for 64-bit operating systems only. So, basically what it tells you is the first thing you need to do is you need to take this mods folder and copy and paste it into your Forces of Corruption folder, which again, I'm using Steam, so it'll be right here, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Star Wars Republic at War, Corruption, and then if you don't have any other mods installed, there will be no mods folder there, and you'll just copy and paste that from the WinRAR archive over here. Next, the next step is to go back to the WinRAR archive and go to the Republic at War setup application itself. Click on that. You can see it'll take a minute to extract all of that. And again, this is for a... Windows 7 32-bit setup, and I am doing the Steam installation path. So, it will not be the same if you have the Republic at War Gold Pack CD itself. That will most likely be located under, uh, I think it's like uh, LucasArts, Empire at War, Forces of Corruption. Right there. So... It'll ta it takes a while to do the installation, so I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, and I'm back, everybody. Uh, so, this is probably, uh, you might have seen what the WinRAR extraction, what the window was saying about a 20-minute wait. It really isn't 20 minutes, more like uh, 10 minutes to extract all the files. So we got here, this is the beginning of the installation, select your language. Click OK, and then you get to the install wizard. Nice uh, screenshot in the background. And here's where uh, things get different if you're either playing off of a CD version of Empire at War or a uh, Steam version. So you can see that the automatic default destination folder is for uh, CD versions. And for at least uh, 
Windows 7, 32 bits and 64 bits. It's in Program Files, x86, LucasArts, Star Wars, Empire at War, Forces of Corruption, Data. Well, since I'm a Steam user, I have a Steam copy of Empire at War, so I'm going to show you guys the default path for that. So that's the uh, default Steam path for uh, you Steam users out there. And you click Next. And this is where, if you want to have a desktop icon for Empire War or not. And so that's where I'm going to stop there, guys. Since I already have Republic of War installed, there's no reason to install it again. If the install document advises you right here, if you have less than 2 gigabytes of RAM or you are on Windows XP, then it advises you to skip this step. But also, you might have seen earlier that there's a RAM fix program inside the installation, on the, under the installation guide. And so, that's, pre that's pretty much the last step for uh, my computer. Now, as you can see, there are different instructions for different operating systems and variations. There's a these special instructions for 64-bit operating systems. However, mine's a 32-bit, so I did not go over that. But there is one final step for uh, Steam users like myself. If you go right here, once you're in your uh, Steam account, go to your games, right-click on Star Wars Empire at War Gold, go to Properties, Set launch options. And I believe that for Vanilla Empire War, it'll just be SWEAW. However, you're going to need to add in the mod path equals mods slash Republic at War. Exactly like that. And then whenever you click on to play Empire at War Gold and you click on Forces of Corruption, it should automatically start uh, and Republic at War. So, yeah, that wraps it up for me here, guys. Thanks for listening. This is Joker Fett signing out.